For me, the being has always been about its presence. And that's the reason why I discovered it on an island with my friends on a canoe trip some 28 years ago, buried deep in the sand at the water's edge. And ever since that time, it has made every move I've made. I first saw this little elbow of wood sticking out of the sand and it struck my curiosity. My friends and I, we dug and dug and dug. We excavated it out of the sand. But it took me months to figure out what to do with it. And what I wanted to do was remove the wood around the leg. I wanted to remove the wood in the crotch to make it more evident. I wanted to make it from driftwood to sculpture. I wanted to make it more figurative. I also took a torch to it to transform it, and thus creating the cavity from which all that black and ashen texture reaches out. Now the final act of transformation took place when we cast it from molten bronze. And in that casting process, we maintained the wood detail perfectly. It still has its same muscularity, its, its sensuality, its, its brazen confidence that gives it its presence. It is both smooth and gnarly. And it really makes reference to mythological figures. And because it's cast in bronze, it will have a presence for thousands of years. <laughs>